bus. Today's job's trying to get this wiring done because Lincoln likes to play on the bus, so try and get all of this loose stuff out of the way and see how we go. Exciting. Oh yeah, we got our fridge in. Looks pretty good. She's all fused up, so it's running on a separate fuse because it wants its regs wants it to be close to the fridge. So our fuse box down here was a little bit too far away, so we've put a 15 amp on the wall here, run our power up and along. We're going to cut a hole in the roof up here. We've got to put this mushroom vent on the top. Um, it's just for gas rigs. Also got to cut one in the bottom of the door down here. So that's the first job for the day. So let's get cutting. So first we drill a hole to start with. Okay, maybe we'll start with a smaller drill bit. Didn't really think this through. Um, I'm going to have to go mark the hole cut out on the roof and cut it from up there only because my jigsaw doesn't get there's not enough room here so <sighs> awesome start what a dumbass okay we've got our ga uh, gas finished um, and we've got our bus back from getting our water tanks in so gas box wise if you are doing gas we've got our it's all been certified now. You get a little sticker on the wall there. Um, basically, you buy a gas box, um, go to your hardware store, just get a normal tie down. It's got to be rated to, I think it might be 10 times the weight of a gas bottle. We just got a 300 kilo one, cost 10 bucks, six bucks or something. Um, strap it in there. If you don't have vents on your door, so we've got vents, um, I wasn't sure, my gas guy told me after I'd already done it, you've got to plumb a vent through, because it goes into our bus through here, has to go through the floor and come out the bottom. Um, I didn't even end up needing to do it, but you can't really see because the old mate's gone and put his um, water tanks under here. So we've got water now, yeah, got to have... Um, Vents down here, bending to the outside, the lowest part of your bus. It's for your gas rigs. And a vent. So we've got the extractor fan, but because you can close it, um, it doesn't really count as ventilation because you can close it. So you have to have a permanent opening. And the size of the opening depends on your square meterage or whatever you've got in the bus. But that's pretty much all we've got. showers and this bad boy I'll show you that a bit later and down the side of the bus we've got our inlet and two 50 litre tanks under here we've got an outdoor shower it's on the back of this door which is permanently shut now um, up here we've got our gauges so we've got the pump water pump she's down here and then our monitor to tell us how full our tanks are. So everything's all go. We've got our Kamek hot water system. She's all gassed up, ready to go for some hot water.
So we're running um, in a drive DC DC charger. It's a pretty big unit. Um, we've got the inner drive 2000 watt inverter. So pretty much, if we go up here, it's where all of our, it's a bit of a mess, but our solar panels come in, come down. So we've got three panels on the roof. They come in underneath this bad boy. Um, obviously it goes for a fuse. Uh, it charges our batteries. So we've got two 300 amp hour batteries. So it gives us 600 amp hours, one plus one. And we've got um, a line coming from the front of the bus where our bus batteries are. So when we're driving and there's no so solar going on, we'll charge our batteries as well. Um, from here, we've got these pretty thick cables. They run through, through a 250 amp fuse to this bad boy which will run our thermomix um, it's got a remote switch which plugs in so we can turn our turn the inverter on up here so our thermomix will just sit on the bench somewhere and just run a cord to it so you don't need an electrical um, certificate when you're plugging straight into the inverter as soon as you start putting power points out and stuff you have to get a certificate but everything runs main power runs to a fuse box um, each fuse runs up to our control panel our control panel then goes out to our little fans so because our um, seats gonna come up here I'll, we'll have a panel in here that'll open but um, for most of it this will all be closed so we won't really have access to this box so this box here just automatically does what it needs to do um, but to keep an eye on our battery voltage we've just got this it's permanently on we've also got two USB plugs up in here um, and then a, a 12 volt appliance like a cigarette lighter and that bad boy there so they're permanently on those those ones there um, the switch is for the fridge I have it separate to this bad boy um, just because I was running out of everything's taken so just needed one more without having to go buy another panel um, yeah so that's where we're up to fresh juice time Break for daddy. What's daddy been doing this morning? In the fans, just in their beds. What is it? It's nearly gone. It's nearly gone. Because um, we're probably going to have a curtain, so it'll get a little bit hot in the, the kids' rooms. So it's their beds. It's Lincoln's bed, Sage's bed's up here. I'll put a little computer fan little Sirocco pumps out a bit of bit of airflow for them um, so they've both got them just to keep them cool so we've got another fan up the front here new addition little Sirocco it's a beast and they're gonna put another one of those on the wall here not much work happening here it's fan time Lincoln's checking out his new fan in his room do you like it? Do you like your fan, bud? Do you like your new fan? Jobs for today. I'm going to try and finish off as much as this bench as we can. So I've got to run it back, plate up here. Um, a seat pretty much it's not really going to have a cupboard underneath um, just because the batteries there don't really want to stack anything on there we will have a little cupboard down the side here 
and I'll bring this bench all the way along the back to link up and then we'll look at getting a tabletop put in down the front here and the plan is that that tabletop will come off and sit in between so the kids will have like a platform that they can um, play their little toys or whatever um, our bed which I don't know what we're doing yet but in my head it's going to be from the roof and it's going to drop down so there's not going to be a lot of head space we are short so it helps but our bed's probably going to sit around here hopefully not too much lower so it'll be a bit of a duck but it means we'll have our table and chairs permanently up I don't know how I'm doing it yet it's all up in my head kind of just free roll and see how we go but yeah coming together we're running out of time we've kind of put a little bit of a deadline it's a pretty loose deadline um, to get out of the house um, so it might be some late night so I'll talk to you later on ciao last one Hopefully he didn't see that. <laughs> We are on pack down mode here at the Crawley household. We are selling everything we own. Um, so Gumtree is our best friend at the moment. It's quite exciting getting rid of things and emptying out the house. Got my little helper. Gotten rid of the old one, getting rid of putting the new one in. Ready for our new renters. Hopefully the grass improves. <laughs> You doing some videoing? Oh, oh, hang on, we might just leave that, bud. Thank you. House is emptying out, bookcases gone, TV gone, picture frames gone. It's getting real. You're still here, though, eh, Bubba? We won't get rid of you. He's like a Or you. Yeah, 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 stop now.